In this video, we're going to be using Soap Commander Endurance and the Blackland Razors Titanium Blackbird. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Soap Commander Endurance. This is an old school classic artisanal soap now. Um, it's been around for quite some time. And the scent on this is Old Spice, your classic Shulton Old Spice scent. Scent strength is, I would call it light, not quite to medium, but you can still pick it up. Exceptional value on this soap. $15 for six ounces. We'll put this cost chart for you there. That is $2.50 an ounce. Absolutely exceptional. And also, the Soap Commander soaps are very, very firm. I wouldn't call it hard, but I would call it approaching hard. So you'll probably get additional value out of that because it's not goopy or super soft and it doesn't take a lot of uh, product to make a lather. We'll show you the formula right there or the ingredients in the formula. It is vegan. Uh, still good stuff in my opinion, Soap Commander. Great value. <laughs> Great soap still even today. Often ignored, it should not be. Okay, the razor for today is the Blackland Razors Blackbird in titanium. Shane sent this over for me to try, and I haven't had much chance to use it. I've had so much stuff going on, so we look forward to using this today. This razor is, again, titanium, machined here in the United States. $300, pricey. There's no getting around that, but titanium is an expensive metal to work with, and just about all the titanium razors are on the expensive side of things. The weight on this, 54 grams or 1.9 ounces. It sits somewhere between aluminum and stainless steel in weight. The stainless steel uh, Blackbird uh, with the same handle is about 103 grams or 3.65 ounces. So you have titanium. It's quite a bit lighter than stainless steel, but generally twice as strong as stainless steel. So as far as metal goes, it's a very stout and relatively light metal. Let's go ahead and load the blade in it. I'm going to use the blade that came with it, which is a Persona, which we'll show you right there. And I really like the posts on the Blackbird. You can see they're nice long posts. So when you put the blade in, no problem whatsoever getting it locked in properly. And there's just a slight amount of overhang on the uh, Blackland razors or at least the blackbird just you can barely feel it i don't think it's enough that you would ever be bothered by it but it's just a little bit enough to sort of hold that blade in i personally like that i love blackbird or blackland <laughs> razors razors generally nice rinse ports on the bottom really well crafted razor this the lines in this handle i really like uh, i just think it's grippy it's it's an awesome razor altogether so we look forward to using it today okay let's get into it uh we have a little over 24 hours growth uh, as you know, yesterday I was sort of trying to help the family and uh, I got home late. And so we're looking forward to a good shave today because I've been tired, stressed and so on and so forth. But these shaves really help in that regard. Today we're using a badger. So if my lather doesn't look awesome painted on my face, it's because I don't use a lot of badger. I don't really like badger that much, but I do like this one. Uh, the Savile Row badgers, I do like. Uh, they tend to feel very, very soft. And uh, I rather like that. And we'll get this painted on. As you can see, there's some good hydration in there. But again, I don't lather with Badger often. And it is different. Anybody who says that the lathering process is not just a little bit different between Badger and, uh, and synthetic, I personally think it is quite a bit different. The process is different. The way the Badger brush holds water is different. The way it yields it back or flow through, whatever you call it, is different. And that can even vary between uh, natural hair brushes. And so as you can see there, I tend to have lines on my face when I use Badger, more prominent than uh, synthetic. And I think it's because the fiber on synthetic brushes are uh, a lot smaller, so they tend not to make the lines quite as much. Even though they're there, they're just not as prominent. Anyway, we're not gonna worry about it today because this lather right here is gonna be excellent and it's gonna be slick. I promise you that. All right, let's go. And by the way, thanks to Mike, a viewer who uh, traded me for this big Savile Row 3332. It's a massive 32 millimeter knot. All right, let's roll with the black bird. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Feels nice. Titanium, again, is somewhere between, if you, uh, if you use aluminum razors and stainless, you'll know the stainless is quite heavy or even uh, brass or can be quite heavy. 
but the titanium falls between aluminum and stainless in weight. And it has enough weight to feel like it's still, there's some substance to it. You know, it just feels good in the hand, but not too much that it feels cumbersome. And I think that's one of the reasons why people really like titanium razors because it hits that sweet spot in weight and it's super strong and durable in terms of a uh, type of metal. And so people just really like it. Now the Blackbird here listed at seven out of 10 in efficiency or aggression, whatever you want to call it. It is an efficient razor. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's one of my favorite razors. It's It manages to shave very closely. I don't think it feels crazy efficient, but if you were someone who just really wants a mild razor with almost no blade feel, you know, obviously this one isn't that. You're gonna feel some blade, which I personally like. I think blade feel gives me another level of feedback that's helpful in my shave because I can sort of feel the resistance between the blade and the hair being cut a little more so than when you have very little blade feel. Although you could still shave well with very little blade feel. I think the feedback just gives you sort of another level. Um, something else to go by to, to aid in your shave and the the Blackbird definitely has some blade feel there. So I, I can feel exactly what I'm doing here, where I need to make additional strokes, just because of the way it feels on my face. And again, I find that to be helpful in shaves. Um, that's just me. I wanna remind you, and I know I've been doing this all week and I'll continue to do it until Friday. Sneaky Pete from A&E will be on uh, Real Talk this week, so come and join us and uh, ask some questions and have some fun. It should be interesting to, to hear what Pete has lined up and the improvements he's trying to make. And so we're going to enjoy that conversation. It'll be on Real Talk um, on, live on Instagram. All right, let's get into our second pass here again. Again, today I'm trying to, you know, help out with things with the family as best as I can. My my brother, like I said yesterday, got out of the hospital, although he still has a uh, this box that's attached to his lungs. Uh, but my mother-in-law was readmitted, and uh, boy, I tell you, it, it, it's been pretty rough. Her kidney function was down to two, two. She only has one kidney because she's a kidney transplant recipient. And essentially, the chemotherapy has killed her remaining kidney to the point where she was almost completely out of it, and they had to... Uh, do um, emergency dialysis yesterday, and I was told that uh, after that, she started looking better. So there is hope, and I'm very thankful for your thoughts and prayers and kind words, and we'll continue to, to help out with that. I did get back a little late last night, just trying to do what I can to, you know, support my wife and, and the family. But uh, thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. It's very well appreciated. Okay, I'm not going to fool around with this lather all day, even though it might not be the prettiest with this badger brush. Um, it's going to be plenty slick enough. It's not a show lather, so to speak, but that's no fault to the soap commander. I promise you, if I use a synthetic today, it would look like it normally looks, but it doesn't. And that's no problem because I know that it's going to be slick, and it is. Soap Commander is still a very good soap. And honestly, I think it compares very favorably in slickness and those attributes that are needed for the shave to most everything out there still, even today. Boy, that feels great. I'm loving this. I'm loving this Blackbird. I do have the stainless steel as well. I will put them together side by side to give you my feelings on that. You know, it just takes time, I have a lot of things to get through, and even though I do these every day, you know, you still only have so much time, but don't worry, we will get to it. We will get to the, we'll have the stainless versus the, uh, the titanium, and that should be an interesting thing. I have a feeling that both are gonna come off super smooth and nice, and you know, it's gonna be hard to choose between them. And I think ultimately what it comes down to is uh, 
is the way to the razor, but this one feels very, very smooth despite being quite efficient. So it feels to me efficient while maintaining smoothness, which is exactly what you want. The best case scenario for me in a razor would be something that's maximum efficiency while maintaining smoothness. So if you can get that efficiency without it feeling rough, that is a win for me. Now, some people prefer a much milder razor because their skin is their skin is sensitive. But I will also say, just because you have uh, sensitive skin does not mean that a very mild razor is going to be your, cho your choice by default. Because I've known many people who have sensitive skin and they, they used a steady diet of uh, very mild razors and they found that actually they did far better with a more efficient razor, doing less work with a more efficient razor, less strokes, less so on and so forth, produced a much better result than doing lots and lots of strokes with a mild razor. So mild is not automatically something for people with um, sensitive skin. You could need a very efficient razor with less passes. In other words, you're making you know, less individual strokes because the more wear you put on your face during the shave, the greater the likelihood that you will encounter problems if you have sensitive skin. And that goes for lathering or whatever. So for example, if you have very sensitive skin, a lot of scrubbing with the badger may actually be causing problems for you. A lot of people overlook that. If you're making a million strokes, that could be causing problems for you. It may not be the blade. A lot of people, especially early on, they'll, they'll go, oh, the blade's terrible. And it's not the blade. It's that they're making too many strokes or they're, they have a really high backbone brush that's really, before they ever get blade to the skin, their face is already you know, experiencing trauma and it's irritated before they even start. So when you're gonna drag the sharp stainless or let's put it this way, sharp steel across your face, for me, I found the best way to do it is to prep my face in the shower, which I shower every day before the shave. And I give a little bit of time between the shower and my shave, and then I shave my face. So I've already done all the scrubbing, exfoliating, and all that kind of stuff. Then I'll do my shave, and I am careful not to scrub my face too much with the brush. I mostly paint, and that works very well for me. It may not for you. You may need additional scrubbing or find it desirable. As I said before, I do not. It's just not my thing. I don't see any need for it. But use case is critical, so you do whatever works best. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this Titanium Blackbird is a fantastic combination of smoothness and efficiency. So uh, you can you can tell that you're you're shaving. You can feel that blade, but yet it comes across incredibly smooth, which I'm digging a lot. And this Persona blade in here is a good fit for me. Although I'm not particularly finicky when it comes to blades, I can use most blades with no problem. This is a good fit, the Persona here, I think. All right, very nice. And I know we didn't speak much about the Soap Commander Soap, but it has done its job. It has hit the spot. It smells great, provided great slickness. No problem whatsoever. Excellent shave, excellent shave. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we followed that with the alum no staining. So that was a super smooth shave. Followed the alum with a cold water rinse and then we toweled off prior to applying our Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. The towel, of course, is the Lancaster towel. I had an excellent shave today with Soap Commander Endurance. And in fact, I want to show you something here. As you look in the bowl, you see that remaining soap. That is because Soap Commander is firm. It's not one of these softer, goopier soaps. So I use the same amount as I normally do and it yields way more lather and there's still a lot remaining. So I could probably make five lathers off the same amount that I use one of the softer soaps with. So keep that in mind. Firmer soaps will generally yield more shaves as a general rule. The Blackland Blackbird Titanium is absolutely exceptional. Great efficiency and great smoothness. Absolutely loved it. 
our Savile Row brush. I enjoyed that, although not as much as synthetic, because I mean, <laughs> if I'm being honest. We're gonna close it out today with a gift from my buddy Dave from Augusta. This is Old Spice Original Shulton Formula in a, a cool vintage sort of spyglass, and we're gonna be having a nice vintage sort of vibe for today. Remember, vintage and old doesn't mean bad. This stuff was great. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.